Hey everyone, Mr. Galbraith here from Kitt, Massachusetts. I'm really excited to do another experiment with you today. So we've been designing our salad dressings and we know that our salad dressings need to include oil and vinegar. The problem, as we've seen, is that oil and vinegar do not mix. I have here a vial that I've poured with oil and water. Water behaves really similar to vinegar. Um, and you can see that even though I mix them up together, uh, the oil and the water on the bottom separate into two layers over time. And that's a problem because we want a salad dressing that doesn't separate into layers. We think that's not that nice for consumers. We want a salad dressing that stays mixed, that stays stable. So how are we gonna do that? Luckily, there's a type of chemical called an emulsifier. An emulsifier is something that allows two substances that don't normally mix to mix. We're gonna test three different ingredients to see if they could be emulsifiers for our oil and vinegar. That is, three ingredients to see if they can keep those two mixed. The ingredients we're gonna try are cornstarch, flour, regular flour, and then a chemical you've probably not heard of called lecithin. So it's also a powder. So these are three different powders. We're gonna try mixing them into vials like this that have oil and water in them. Shake them up, give them some time, and see if these different ingredients are able to keep those two substances mixed, or if they're gonna end up separating into two layers like they normally do. So let's find out which one's best. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start by taking the same amount of each ingredient and putting it into a separate vial. So I'm gonna start with my cornstarch vial. I've labeled it with a C on the side. And I'm gonna put a nice level half teaspoon and mix it right in there and seal it up because I'm gonna to have to do a whole lot of shaking in a minute. Before I shake it though, I'm actually gonna load up my other ones too. So I'm gonna take next my flour vial and let me get a half teaspoon of flour. Again, whenever you're uh, taking teaspoons or half teaspoons or anything like that, make sure it's nice and level. You don't want a big pile of ingredient on top of your spoon. That means it's not actually a half teaspoon or whatever amount you're measuring. So I'm gonna add the flour to this one. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make a big mess in my office right now. And then the, and close that up really tight. And then finally, I am going to do my lecithin powder. Okay, so let me just scoop some of that. Ooh, I'm making a mess. All right. Same thing, nice level teaspoon. This stuff's kind of interesting. It's got kind of a bright yellow color, unlike the other two, but it's also a powder. So I'm gonna make sure I'm sticking a little bit. Let me get it in there. Cool. All right, so I got all three uh, ready to go. And I, the first thing I gotta do is mix, and we're actually gonna mix it for a while. I'm gonna mix it for a minute and a half. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you Watch me mix for a minute and a half, but just trust me, I'm gonna mix these for a minute and a half, literally just by shaking them. Be right back. All right, so we just shook these for about a minute and a half. So let's see what they look like uh, right now. Um, so I'll put my, I've got my cornstarch, my flour, and my lecithin. And let's see if we can get it to focus a little better. Um, so you can see it a little easier. There we go. Okay. So um, what we're going to do now is note our initial observations. So before we let it sit and see if they are able to stay mixed, we're going to just make some starting observations. That's in the second column. So go ahead and pause your video now and make those observations. Any colors you notice, any layers, any bubbles, anything you can see, uh, make that. We're now going to, now that you have your observations, we're now going to let these mixtures sit for about 15 minutes. Um, at the end of 15 minutes, we'll take a look and see if they're still able to stay uh, mixed. Um, and the one that stays mixed will be the best emulsifier. So I'm actually gonna let the camera keep recording. We'll speed it up and see what happens in 15 minutes.
All right, everyone, now that it's been 15 minutes, let's take a look at um, how our vials have changed. So again, over here on the left side, we have our cornstarch. Um, on the, in the middle, we have flour. And on the right side, we have our lecithin. So take a note for your final observations, what layers you see, what colors you see, um, any other observations you notice before we go on and make our decision about which one is the best emulsifier. All right, thanks everyone. Have fun and have a great day.